everybody! Today I wanted to film a video about all of the pink phones that I have owned throughout my life. I think pink phones are beautiful and should be way more popular than they are. I'm so glad that the Samsung S20 comes in a beautiful pink colour, but back in the day it was a little bit harder to try and find pink phones and so basically this is going to be a nice relaxing video looking through my old phones seeing if there's anything still on there, seeing what the settings were like, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So the first phone I wanted to look at really, really quickly is my first ever phone. I know it's not pink. It slides. That's it. That's the cool thing about it. It's a slide phone. I broke it by dropping it into the ocean and it never lived to see another day. Now my second phone is probably one of the favorite phones I've ever had. I love, love texting on actual buttons. And it was just a beautiful phone. It was given to me by my auntie because I obviously broke the other one. So I just did a Facebook call out for anyone who had a phone I could use. Here's Luhan. Um, I had this phone in about 2012, which is when I was very heavily into my XOM phase. And yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on. I did just charge it. I tried charging all of these and it still turns on, which is amazing. I actually could not find a charger for this anywhere. And then I realized that my keyboard plug, low battery, excuse me, I charged you. I realized that my keyboard actually plugged into it, which was great. So that's the weird thing is I'm not sure where the battery is low because it definitely was charging and I had it plugged in the whole time. Now there's low battery so we're going to go through this phone pretty quickly. I love that it's Luhan again on the background and I can't actually seem to figure out how to access the camera. There is a camera but I don't- oh wait! Did I get it? Oh my god there's an actual camera button. Okay let me take a photo of Billy. One of my favorite things about this phone is the fact that there are still messages. I won't show the number it's from, but these are the days of um, no autocorrect and just smashing, smashing the keys. I also have a couple random videos on here. Um, I'm not too sure what all of them are. Um, so it looks like this is my friend wearing a unicorn onesie and dancing at the front of our street. These are just the kinds of things you would film on your phone in 2013. Isn't that fantastic? So the next phone I owned was this pink Docomo phone, which is a Japanese brand. I think Docomo is actually a phone service carrier over there. And this was a limited edition pop teen version of the phone, which is so freaking cute. Look at that love heart there. Look at the love heart there. Look at the bow. Like, to go from this to this was such a massive jump for me, and it was so exciting. I, I missed the buttons, but this, this was a good phone to have. This was cute. Unfortunately, it wasn't actually the best phone. It was supposed to be waterproof. I was a bit scared to test it out. I would kind of be in the bath and I would try dipping it in the bath like I was dipping a biscuit into tea. Um, and... In the end, it stopped working. As you can see, it still turns on, but the touch screen is, it, it doesn't work. I can sometimes, sometimes unlock it, but that's very rare and that's as far as I can get, which is so sad because isn't it a really cute phone? However, after this phone, I did have a gold iPhone 4S, I believe, and I only had that for a short time, maybe like a year. I'm definitely an Android person, so, we will skip over that whole phase where I thought I was going to be an Apple person. <laughs> Moving on, I next had this phone, which this may be a very interesting phone to look at if you've never seen it before. It is a Meitu M8, and Meitu, you may recognize the name, they are a very popular um, photo editing app, um, they're Chinese, and a lot of people might be a bit iffy about them because the app asks for lots of permissions, but in my mind, you know, Anyone could find my daughter if they wanted to. I don't really care that I edit my photos on Meitu. But this phone, this is a cute phone. It's actually awesome because it's such a similar shade 
to the Samsung S20. As far as pink friends go, you really cannot get better than this. This Meiji one is slightly, slightly pinker, whereas the Samsung S20 has a very, very, very slight metallic sheen to it. But they're pretty close. This phone I actually did an unboxing on on my channel, so you may recognize it. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on. I did charge it, but I haven't turned this phone on in a very long time. I don't remember which buttons to use. Hold on, there we go. The most annoying thing about this phone was that because it is a Chinese phone and it came from China, is that it didn't have any of the Google framework installed, which you need to access Gmail, YouTube, Google Maps, um, like any of that stuff. I had to manually figure out how to do it, which was so annoying. And I could not tell you how I managed to fix it, but it took like a month of tweaking and fiddling to finally get Google Maps to work. And that was a lot of time of me wandering around in Sydney and not knowing where I was going and needing Google Maps and I didn't have it. So it does look like I had factory restarted this to sell it because I have been trying to sell it for years. If you're interested in this, please, please buy it off me. It's only a couple hundred bucks and then you can figure out what to do with it. <laughs> but let's see what it's like when it's default. All right, so automatically you can see that they've pre-installed Meitu and Meipai. I think Meipai was kind of like TikTok. Meitu is what I use all the time for my photos. Um, basically, oh my God, this is not what we wanted to see because I'm not wearing makeup. No. Let's switch this over. Basically, you can pick filters, you can put on different beauty settings, um, and, the, and the photos are pretty, pretty general quality. Like, you only need so much quality these days if you're posting to Instagram. So like, that's, that's about it. Um, as far as everything else on the phone goes, there are some settings that are always in Chinese, which is a bit difficult. It's honestly, once you've installed the Google Frameworks, it's exactly the same as every other phone, really. There's nothing too special about it apart from the looks, but to be fair, that was why I bought this phone, because of how it looked. And now this next one is not actually a phone, but I wanted to show it to you guys anyway, because I got these around the same time. This is my camera. This is the camera I use to take a lot of my Instagram photos. And I thought I would show it next purely because they have the same weird shape. So what I really, really love about this camera is, do, 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 do. it flips, it flips. It's so magical. So this is a, a Casio Exilim. If you just type in pink Casio Exilim, it, it should show up. There are quite a few different shades of pink, I believe. There is a lighter one and this is the darker one. I wish I got the lighter one. <laughs> And it's so good because you can use it to take photos like this, but I always use the selfie setting like this. I set it up on a tripod. It is great. And it also has its own little, oh, it also has its own little stand, which comes in handy sometimes. So it doesn't have like any particularly good zoom features or anything, but when you are taking selfies, um, it has automated beauty things. So you change auto, you can do makeup, um, just like regular settings. So basically the makeup one will smooth your skin. I think enlarge your eyes a little bit. I don't tend to fiddle with those settings too much, um, but it's just really great. And the quality of photos that it produces is so good. So I know this isn't a phone, but I thought, I thought it would be fun to look at anyway. And usually what I do is when I do take photos, I keep one from each set. Um, like my favorite ones on here. So I have I have one of each set that goes back for years Then you have my current phone which is the Samsung s20 in pink of course and This phone I have actually done a video about before so I'm not gonna go too into it But it has been a year and a half now of me owning this phone and I am still loving it however, I do want to add that I just pre-ordered the Samsung Z Flip 3 in cream. It does come in pink, but it is the most ugly pink. I'm so disappointed. 
So I ordered it in cream and look forward to that video coming out. Maybe I'll do a couple videos. This phone is just like any other phone. You know, it's a generic, well, it's not a generic, it's a mainstream smartphone. So you know what you're getting. So I currently have a countdown to Halloween. I have the weather under my thumb. It currently has my current location, so I'm covering it up again because once I did a video where I forgot to cover it up and I had to spend every single frame doing a blur over my current location, it was so annoying. So basically, I've got I've got my clock, I've got my weather, a countdown. I have this to-do list here, which I love. It is called Frank Remark Sticky Note, if you want to try and find that. Um, basically, I put my daily tasks on there and I tick them off as I go. Then I have all my regular apps at the bottom and I have more regular apps on the side, which is nice. I really love this hidden menu that I just swipe across for. And that's it. That is, that, is, that is this phone. This phone has been probably one of my favorite phones, mainly because it's mainstream, so you know it's not missing any features that you might need. And it's reliable because it's a Samsung, so it's a brand that you know and can trust instead of some random phone you get off eBay. Which leads us into our next and final phone. <laughs> so I, um, my friend and I were talking and we were joking about getting flip phones that we could just use to text each other. And I was like, why joke about it? Let's buy it. So I went and bought this Hello Kitty phone off eBay. It is so cute. It was about $50 and it does work. However, I can't figure out how to get it to work with my SIM card, which means it does not work as a functioning phone right now. So I'm just going to turn it on and it's very cute when it turns on. It has, it actually does have a camera right here and it says insert SIM 1 and SIM 2. I cannot find the slot for SIM 1, I can only find the slot for SIM 2 and putting my regular SIM card in the SIM 2 slot doesn't seem to work so I don't really know but it's so cute. Did anyone else used to do this back in the day? I'm basically Mozart. So there we have it, my final phone. I will quickly show you the camera because that's about all I can show you on here, unfortunately. Um, where the heck is the camera? Multimedia? Aha! Oh, right, my finger was covering it up. Can I not even take a photo because there's no memory card? There we go. Happy cat. This is how we got all of our old blurry photos back in the day. Oh, jeez, okay. That's what it looks like underneath. I think maybe a sim should go there. I'm, I know I didn't turn it off, but I honestly, I don't really care. This is what I see. This looks like a sim card fits in there. That looks like a memory card slot. This says something about sim one and sim two, but I can't figure it out. If you can help me, if I'm just being really stupid, that would be awesome if you could tell me what I'm doing wrong. But even the battery has Hello Kitty on it. Like, it's so cute. I wish I could use it. But there we have it. So here were all of my phones slash my one camera. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I've actually been wanting to film this for quite a while and I haven't got around to it, but now I have. Please let me know in the comments which phone is your favorite. Tell me if you had any of these before. Bye. Sorry, I got distracted. Let me know in the comments if you have seen any of these phones before or if you have owned any of them. Also tell me what phone did you have in 2013 because that was peak phone era, I feel like. Everyone had a different phone, they were all somewhat different and if you had the same phone as someone else, you were kind of like phone sisters, you know? Whereas now we all, we all really have the same two phones, it's Samsung or an iPhone or like, you know, occasionally you'll have a Xiaomi or a Pixel, but either way they all look pretty much like the same phone. So yeah, let me know what phone you had in 2013 please and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed because then I can do more phone phone videos that's kind of 
what people like on this channel, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time and have a lovely day. Bye.